Hello beautiful people, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day and today's video is going to be a tips and tricks video. I've been asked for this a lot and today I decided to go ahead and film this for you because as you guys know I love liquid lipsticks. I wear liquid lipsticks every day. I'm just not a stick lipstick person. I'm not a gloss person. I'm just a matte formula kind of person. So today we're going to do some tips and tricks and show you how I do my lips every day. So without any further ado, let's jump to the video. Alright guys, before we get started, all makeup on this channel is cruelty free and so are the products that I'm using in today's video. Also, for the liquid lipsticks that I will be showing off in today's video is from Alternity Cosmetics who is sponsoring today's video and I'll be using their Steampunk collection. I will be using two shades from their four liquid lipsticks from the launch and there's also a really good giveaway going on right now on their Instagram if you want to enter. I will leave all the information down below and you can win the entire collection. So thank you guys for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to show you their great liquid lipsticks. I'm also going to try to help you out getting a really nice liquid lipstick application. So let's jump into it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. My first tip for you with liquid lipsticks is to always apply a lip balm or a chapstick before you apply liquid lipstick unless it's a dark color. So if you're going for like a nude, you're going for red, you're going for the pink, or even sometimes a purple, I always put down lip balm. I don't do it when it's a dark color. Dark colors tend to be more streaky, um, so I don't want anything to kind of like smear over and make more streaks. So I'm going to be using the Brazilian Kiss by Sol de Janeiro. I always have a problem remembering the name of this brand. I was gifted this one to review, but I really like it because it's super, super big. I've been looking for a new lip balm, and it's just like really easy. I'll just, I dab instead of rub. Rubbing leaves more excess product, but if you like kind of blot it onto your lips and gives like a really good amount of product without being like too much. This will really stop liquid lipsticks from drying down your lips and um I think it makes a little nice barrier but then your liquid lipsticks because it's not too much product will still dry down completely dry so that's my tip with this one and I really like this it smells delicious. Now typically I don't line my lips just because I am a liquid lipstick person on a daily basis. I don't need to line them necessarily because they are super opaque however if I do line my lips I'm going to show you how I do that um just in case I know the color isn't completely opaque I think it just needs a little bit of depth on the outer corners or I'm using a stick lipstick I will line so I'm going to show you how I do that this is the Gerard Cosmetics and Cher because I absolutely love Cher liquid lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics and I think I have a piece of cat hair in my lips but I'm going to get some my way so for the lip liner, I am going to be using this, and this one is a little bit retractable, so I will start off and I'll underline right here. I do have a little mole on my lip, so I will underline right underneath, I always know it's underneath, that's where my lip kind of curls, so where it kind of comes out, I'll underline right underneath. And then for the top lip, I'm going to do an X, it's an edge of Cupid's bow. On the other side, make an X. I saw this somewhere a long time ago. And then I'll make it in tour with like an M. You can see my lips don't have very much color to them, but you can still sort of see the indention of the edge of my lips. So I'm just going to draw on that. Now the inner corner is tricky depending on the kind of lip shape I'm doing because there's a million different ways to draw on your lips. I typically don't do like to the to this little edge edge corner I kind of do on the inside so the lips are kind of in the inside however that can change depending on the day how I apply it by mistake or if I'm using a like color I want to be very full like I'm doing like a crazy Halloween look or something I'll drive it all the way to the edge and make them really really big and then I have a hard time with the edge right here because it's not very clear. So I don't really line the whole way with this. I kind of do what feels right with the liquid lipstick. So if I'm going to line, this is what my liner looks like. It's not really full liner and I'll just rub my lips together to buff it out so it's not so harsh. So I'm going to be using the color Aristocrat from Alternative Cosmetics in their Steampunk collection. This is like a really pretty nude. I'll go ahead and get a swatch on the hand. I've used this in a few videos before and you guys like really like it. I think it's so pretty. So I'm going to be using this one. And I'm going to start off like I normally do. Well, sometimes I start on the top lip too, but I'll just put a little bit and do that. I don't know why. I just feel like it looks, 
just feels right because I feel like when you first dip like out of the tube there's always like more product in here because it's been sitting here collecting product so I kind of just like disperse the first little bit of lipstick and then I'll do the top lip depending on the wand this one has like a really cute flat doe foot's really simple depending on the wand the cupid's bow my lips looks a lot different what I'll do is you'll just open your mouth with it and make a really solid movement and it kind of helps you draw with the natural shape of your lips so this is something which I make the mistake of all the time and I see a lot of other people do it too so when you first come out of the tube you dip in and you put it on the outer corner of your lips you'll see the edge right here collects a lot of excess product that was on the wand and it gets real dark so I try not to do the biggest lip the first go around because it will collect on the edge and I kind of want to pick that back up and kind of blend it and for the lower lip it's pretty simple I kind of go from the inner corner and the edge of the wand is on the outer corner and I just and yes I know I need to wipe my teeth don't tell me about it I already know and then I know this is kind of cliche, like you see people in like a million movies doing it. I like finish off the inner ring of the lip and I go just to kind of blend anything and it's a little bit too excess. I don't want a ton of product sitting on one spot of my lip. I want it to be like evenly dispersed. And then this is what my lips look like. And I think it looks pretty decent. Of course, sometimes I'll do way more of an archy kind of Cupid's bow. This one I feel like is very subtle Cupid's bow, but I feel like for a nude kind of color, I feel like this works and um I don't know one side of my lips is more straight and flat than the other um but I can't really help that I just keep to my natural lip shape which one side is just more flat than the other it's not that big of a deal but most people try to counteract it but like I don't have time for that I feel like it doesn't feel as natural it takes longer to do if you kind of counteract or overline like your natural lips it just doesn't look as believable and it takes way more time to do so I just stick with what I actually got so yeah. <laughs> so next up, I'm going to show you how to do darker lipsticks because it's slightly different. It's still the same basic principle, but I do the darker lipsticks just a little more carefully and I'm going to show you how. Okay guys, so very light with the lip balm for the dark colors because you don't want too much. And now let's do the dark color. So this is the shade Rogue, which is a beautiful, like, it's a brown liquid lipstick, but it has like a cool undertone to it. It's a little bit different than your average, like, dark brown lipstick, so you're definitely going to see that in this. But for the darker colors, I will not line at all, just because I want just the color that's on the liquid lipstick to be on my lips. So I'll start off again. Do that. But I will do the bottom lip first, and I'll tell you why. I have a hard time seeing the edge of my bottom lip. Um, I can see like where it pokes right here, but on the edge it's really hard for me to see. And that's where I make the most mistakes with dark liquid lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom lip first. I'm going to go ahead and where I would, like I would underline and do like the edge on the bottom. And be very careful with the first lines on the edges. I make more like little tiny paint strokes instead of like uh, like I did with the top lip uh, previously. And I'll just move slightly closer to the edge back and forth. Kind of slight feathery motions instead of intense big movements that'll like mess with the entire shape. So I'll subtly keep wiggling it down. And I'll do the XM for the top lip with the liquid lipstick. This is what the lipstick looks like dried. Now, I don't think I need to touch this up any, but I'll tell you what I do if like a dark color, like a Wet n Wild has a dark liquid lipstick. I think it's a really nice formula, but it's like a little bit streaky. So what I'll do is I'll pull the wand out and I'll clean it off on the side in here. If we can see what I did, can we see? Yeah, I just, I just wiped it off on the inside and then I'll take the wand and I'll blot a little extra product where it needs it. 
and then I'll smack it together to blend it out so it's not like, oh, this spot's a lot darker than the rest of it. It'll, it all blends in together. And then I'll take the wand and I'll wipe the product that I put on the edge back down into the tube for, for safekeeping. <laughs> um, but yeah. So this is the finished look with the Rogue liquid lipstick. And I actually really like this look with the blue and the, the slightly like cream yellow and the dark lip. Yeah, it looks pretty cute. I know this side could probably be a little fuller, like I could keep going. I'm just scared to mess up the shape. And then this side of my lip is always just a little flat. But overall, I don't think you'd say anything to me about my liquid lipstick application out on the streets if you saw me like this. I feel like it looks pretty decent. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps some of you out. If you have any other like questions or concerns about liquid lipsticks, please let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer your questions as best as possible. I know a lot of people put like a little tiny dab of highlighter in the center of the lip to make it a little more full. I don't do that typically. I might like if it's a special occasion, but for the most part I don't just because... I don't know, most of the highlighters have glitter in it, I don't want that, or it messes with the liquid lipstick color. Sorry about the cat noise. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to All Journey Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. I hope you check them out in the links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!